competition and relations with member schools. To honor America, would you please rise for the playing of our national anthem? smiling i know you are welcome to northwood high school here mike jameson <laughs> and rick clever got the game for you tonight and uh northwood's going to be taking on the genoa comets and girls basketball here and uh 
Uh, Rick, one of, one of the things uh, I got to talk with Bobby McDonald, uh, uh, assistant coach over at Northwood, and Bobby's one of my dear friends. Uh, a lot of injuries. This team's had a lot of injuries. Yeah, we were a bit worried during uh, pregame warm up. They only had five out, and then uh, the JVs showed up. Yeah. Yeah. They're, uh, so they're only dressing five pure varsity. I think tonight is going to be. One of those games where uh, if if Genoa can get a roll going, it's gonna it's gonna hurt Northwood from the fact of they're just not gonna be able to keep up. You, you know they're gonna get tired. They, you know don't no doubt they're gonna get tired. So uh, that's I think what we're gonna see a, a little bit of here tonight as uh, Genoa does what they do. They're just controlling the offensive uh, tempo right now and being able to move the ball. There's a steal. Oh no, Williams gets in. And uh, doesn't get it. How you doing, buddy? Genoa moved the ball well. I just couldn't get it to convert that time. Fantastic look right now for all the great people. And uh, boy, I, I got I got them taking my picture. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> it, it could get well, crazy. I mean, it could get crazy. If you find your picture on any post office wall, then yeah, this is true. This is true. Yeah. Or the back of a milk carton. You know, <laughs> we've been on a few milk cartons here too. <laughs> Jensen, Cassidy Jensen, with her first foul tonight, and. Uh, once again, Monday night coverage of basketball. You know, we were only supposed to do 20 games this year, Rick. Oh, well, we've already done 30 yeah, in 32. January. Yeah, we're at 32 <laughs> right now. And we've got a ton more. Uh, we just signed up and got everything set up. We're going to do the Gibsonburg Woodmore girls game uh, Saturday night, which I'm just so excited we're doing that game. I want to see Everett uh, Bo, her dad, who's the coach, is a very good friend of mine. And... Uh, Wonderful guy, wonderful guy, and uh, and uh, wh what he's been able to do with that Gibsonburg program, you know, and uh, Everts is she's averaging like I don't know, 28 points a game. It's incredible as a freshman. We got to see their JV Saturday. They uh, filled in for Ottawa Hills yep. JV against Genoa. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see them see the, the full complement. Exactly. There's how you started oh, out, Addy. Oh, Addy. That's a Genoa Bank Taylor Automotive Family three-point play, and uh, starting everything off as uh, Thompson gets it up the court, and they uh, they move it around. Shot got it, and back over to Thompson. Not here we go again. Oh, there it is. Shock inside. Can't make it happen, and. Uh, McKenna gets the rebound, passes it to her sis. All right, gets it off rebound. McKenna rebound off to the right, didn't get it. Gets the Good rebound. Hustle. And uh, there's oh. three. Three chances, couldn't get it to fall. Uh huh. And uh, Bolton with the rebound there for uh, the Rangers. So no, a oh, there's cold. a steal. Uh, Trying to corral it, dribbled right on the inline, off the sideline there. The last couple of games, Addie's really come uh, come up with her defensive play, and uh, you know being able to make things happen in the back court. Uh. And you get that ball into uh, Thompson. Oh, quick foul on uh, Adriana Williams. Got a busy week of basketball tomorrow night. We'll have the uh, Genoa boys taking on Fostori in a makeup game. Seven, seven o'clock, normal, normal time. And then uh, Thursday night, uh, the girls will be at Rossford. And then uh, just busy all week. Oh, nice inside step move. Doubled it up and got it. Friday, the boys are at Eastwood. Eh? Yep, yep, yep. Autumn Schroeder was able to put that in. Going to make it a three-point play. And then uh, that foul's on Lucy Schlagerter. Don't forget, you can uh, text me and say hi and let me know you're listening in on our program, 419-514-1302. Say hi. Don't say anything mean. I've had a bad day. <laughs> no, I haven't. I've had a good day. 
I got all so three you, of them. You were going to brunch at the moon last time I talked to yeah, you. Yeah, so yeah. I had a, a good lunch. You uh, can't have a bad day when you go to the moon. Yeah, well, I always I always try to get something for the kids, you know, because some of the waitresses have kids, and they're like my kids. And I bought a big bag of cotton candy, and the kids are never going to see it. Oh, <laughs> it's the girls not. stole it. They stole it today. So uh, they and their 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 point was that the kids not allowed to have red dye now. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah that's sure. what they said. Uh -huh. yeah, Izzy takes it. She doesn't make it, but they. Uh, I think my parents always said they had to taste test it, make yeah, sure it was exactly. all right, make sure it was safe. I'm not into cotton candy. Yeah. Never was. It's just like. Ugh. Uh, it's just sponge sugar. Have you seen the TikTok video when they give a big thing of cotton candy to a raccoon? No. In the water? It's the cutest thing I've ever seen because he puts it in the water, you know? And it disappears. It's, <laughs> it's gone. Uh, ow. Kind of went up between two and a half people there. And they're, they're collapsing down on her a little bit every time she gets the ball. So. Well, they know. They know exactly... Uh, what they need to know from the standpoint of uh, there's a lot of big things happening, but Genoa seems to have an answer. Yeah, Genoa's got the team around her. The, you, you can't spend too much time collapsing down on Kenna because, you know, her sister's going to come up. You're going to have Schlagader. You're going to have, you know. Bolden got that rebound. She's got it now. Puts it up. A little Ooh. short. Great boxing out by Genoa right there. And Izzy goes to the hole. Drew the foul. They call it on the shot or they call it on the ground. They're going to give her two. Yeah. And we talk about this all the time about Izzy with her being a lefty like that. She can go so hard left handed and it, and it kind of messes it kind of messes the girls up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, they're Once not she learns, seeing that left hand. Exactly. Once she learns that crossover move and can go back and forth, yeah, she'll she'll score at will on these uh, breakaways. I'm just glad to see she's out there after the little spill she took Saturday. Yep. Yeah, and Dad said she was a little sore over the weekend. Oh, I'm but sure. She's tough. I'm sure they made it to some sort of uh, uh, trading card event somewhere. Oh, is that what they do? Oh, my God. I can't tell you what they have. It's <laughs> it's that good. It is that good. And Carmel with it right now, and she, oh, she got stuck, and... Oh. Combs got Combs her, got but, trapped man. in there. Oh, nice block by McKenna. And it's going to stay here with the uh, All Rangers. Crazy. Low scoring game so far. Both these teams are really working hard, really working hard on their uh, defense to clog everything up. And you're just not seeing a lot of outside shots being taken yet. Uh, turn me down a little bit here. Yeah, bring it down a little bit there, Ricky. Thank you. There we go. That's Izzy. Nice shot. Little floater there on the line. Nice. Izzy got in front of that one to get it knocked out of bounds. It's going to anchor that inbound. Oh, yeah. Now, you know, if the if the mainstays do what they're supposed to do um, yeah, and don't get in foul trouble, that's the big thing. If they start putting a, a trap on, it's going to change the whole outlook of this game. Williams is just like a – she's just like a little bug, man. She, you know, she makes it so uh, – it's so hard for the girls to bring the ball up, and they have to push it into a corner like that. Ooh. <laughs> Wofford a uh, little bit. Oh, nice rebound. Nice rebound. Yeah, Kenna boxing out there. Gets it out. Schroeder up to Kiera, and she got it. Eight three right now. 202 left.
All right, it's our first time out. 30 second time out here. And, Why don't you uh, take a commercial so I can change batteries? Oh, oh already? Oh, boy. All <laughs> right, we're up. out. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genau Bank, a locally owned community bank providing a full range of banking services. At Genau Bank, we believe a bank should do more than just conduct business. We generally care about the communities we serve and we take our hometown commitment to heart. Our biggest investment will always be in you, whether it's a personal account or business. Genau Bank is committed to outstanding service. We want to know you by name and help you with all your banking needs. Genau Bank, we take your banking needs personally. Hey, we're back. Inside, nice move by Schroeder, got him. It took a while for the video to get to the Holy Land. And of course the gain on the camera reset. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm. I think I'm close to what we were. Actually, 118 left in the uh, quarter. Addison, long range. But there's Issy with the Izzy rebound. Just hustling. Saving it. Addy got partially blocked. Yeah, it? yeah. One minute left to go here. The clock is wrong. What? Yeah, we're. Our, uh, our video's really. Shaky tonight. I mean, jittery. Jittery. Yeah, that's what I mean. Not you. It's just very jittery tonight. Apologize. Hmm. Something's something's off. Oh. I'm gonna let the clock run. We got to get it down to 35 seconds. Thirty-five is our number. We got the starters all back in for the comments. Right. Thirty-three, thirty-two, thirty-one is our number. We're just gonna let it run. All right, clock's right now. <laughs> oh, they get it inside. Almost. Nice layup. Oh, she oh. missed it. Oh. oh, my gosh. How did that not go? Oh, it's on the floor again. Oh. Slog her and Slot got it. Uh, Northwood called a timeout. Probably a good one. We'll be right back. Join us at Historic Danny's Cafe Rossford. We're always serving your favorite food and drinks seven days a week, opening at 11 a.m. Watch the best sports matchups on one of our many 80-inch TVs. Plus, you can enjoy great live entertainment. And opening in spring of 2024, Danny's Cafe Rossford is proud to announce our 3,000 square foot edition with a full stage, new kitchen, and much more. Plus a ballroom for your next special event. Danny's Cafe Rossford always has plenty of safe and well-lit parking. Located at 600 Dixie Highway in historic Rossford, across from Rossford High School. About five seconds left in this quarter. I think they're just showing it right now. Yep. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> End of quarter. End of quarter. We're uh, eight to five is our score. We'll be right back with more right here. Toledo Sports Network. Stick around. If you're looking for fantastic Italian food along with old world hospitality and family traditions, 
DeStazio's is your place. Located in Elmore, Ohio, Coach Mike DeStazio and his family have become a fast favorite with pizza, lasagna, and other great old world Italian dishes. Stop out today or call them at 419-862-0404. DeStazio's, 351 Rice Street in Elmore, Ohio. Beautiful. Oh, man. Eight five Genoa on top of the Northwood here as we start the second quarter. Live from Northwood on the Toledo Sports Network. No, no, man to man match up there, collapsing down, up and in. To know, working the ball around. Trying to get, oh, long three. Rebound comes down to Genoa. Passing it back out, they're gonna reset a little bit. Another long three, another rebound for Genoa. That's all offensive rebounds for the Comets tonight. Tried to force the dribble. There we go. Another Genoa Bank Toledo Automotive Family three point shot from Schlageter. Makes it 11 7, Genoa. Nice dish, just couldn't get a hand on it. Loses it out of bounds, turns it over to the Comets. Right idea, just couldn't execute. Long pass, down low. Just caught a little bit underneath that basket, just couldn't quite get it up to the right angle there. A little gather Euro step there. Discussion from Coach Black and the uh, referee there. And Northwood will take the ball out again. Aggressive defense from the Comets. Oh. Williams called for the foul. Her second foul, team's first of this quarter. Lost control out there close to that half court line and turned it over to the Comets. Back up for the Rangers, number 13, Carl. 
Kenna down low, turns, just couldn't get it to fall, or gets her own rebound. football pass there. Got a little strong. <laughs> 13 7 your score. Comets on top. 445 in this first half. I'm back with you there, Bobby. You're back? Good, because I have no idea who the Northwood players were. <laughs> such and such, so and so. Okay, there we go. I get some of the numbers here. There's Addy bringing it up. <laughs> Izzy wanted to pop the three there. Oof. Blocked. I'm not going to run clock right now. Is that Schlager that got blocked there? Yeah. You know, it's still playing their progressive defense. Yeah, they got that little trap, boy, and it. Yep. There you go yeah. again. Knocked it away. Uh, oh, almost took it off. Oh, uh, wide open inside. There's Schroeder again. The I foul. don't think she needed to put it on the floor. No. That time, She no. could have gone straight up and maybe gotten the and one. Only the second team foul of the quarter. Nice form. She followed the JMO principle. Nice form, I'll tell Focus, you. Focus, deep breath, nice arc. Keeps that elbow in real yep. nice, real nice. You always like to see that because you know mom and dad taught her well, you know? And uh, that's just one of them things that you really, really want to do when you're young. There's Izzy. Izzy's hit some clutch threes in the last few games, that's for sure. They took the trap off, but oh. <laughs> they're letting them play a little bit. That's for yes, sure. Yes, they are. Oh, she doubled. Oh, them. yeah. They're doing a lot of that, too. There comes Izzy. Oh, oh. off uh, one of the Northwood girls' foot, feet. She walked. And another block. Addie's got it this time. She's going to set it up and bring it up for the Comets. Combs. I don't want to say the refs are in a hurry to get out of here on a Monday night, but. Addy for three, off the mark. And that. Uh, they don't seem to be in a hurry to stop the clock. Maybe. No, not at all. That's, that was Wofford with that uh, rebound over there. I was trying to get it for you, I apologize. Good hustle. And yeah, we'll be at Eastwood this week. Uh, tomorrow night, Fostoria is coming in for boys basketball at the Impact Zone. Thursday, Rossford girls. And then Saturday, it's going to be, uh, we're going to be getting a Gibsonburg game in. Uh, Gibsonburg versus Woodmore girls. Up in the crow's nest. Yeah. The the uh, the oxygen is much better up there. <laughs> Kara Combs and oh, nice. oh, picks her pocket. Good play. Uh, Autumn Schroeder's down though. Oof. She went down hard. I did she not really see what went. happened. She hit the back of her head, and she's uh, in a little bit of a pain right now. 
And uh, we're going to take a quick break, and uh, folks, we'll be back with more right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Stick around. Mike Jamison and Jamison's Mobile Music would like to talk to you about your entertainment needs for your upcoming wedding or special event. For over 25 years, Mike has made wonderful memories one event at a time. Professional sound and lighting and video for your special event. Call us today for an affordable package for your special day. 419-514-1302. Jamison's Mobile Music and Video. Graymont and Genoa, producers of doclamide lime and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. The safety and development of these employees is a focus for your plant. Over 80% of our employees currently live within 11 miles of the plant. Graymont, for more information about this company, you can check us out on the web at www.graymont.com. Otto Schroeder's going to the uh, the back room. And, uh, is, that like the, is that like the, uh, the, the blue tent? Yeah, like she's in the blue tent right now. She went off under her own power yeah. gingerly, but she went nice. off. So that's a good sign. We're going to think positive thoughts. Amen. McKenna that left turn up and uh, going to go take a couple from the uh, free throw lane. Got the first one. No, it's not trapping, but they're up in their faces on that man-to-man. -man. Oh. oh, Mike and Debbie Gerke said hi. Thanks, you guys. Hope you're having a wonderful evening and hope you're enjoying the game. There's a trap. Oh. Oh. Kara Combs with the uh, pretty heavy duty knee block there, huh? Yeah, that was that trap that they're putting in. And she got there a little late and her knee got there before her. Well, the problem Northwood's doing with that trap like that is they're, they, they seem to be going to the outside to the left and right instead of trying to, trying to take the move inside and they get caught in that trap every time. Right. Just kudos, kudos out to uh, Genoa. And it's, what do we got here? Five timeout. Is that what it is? Or five seconds. I think it was, five, yeah, it was five, five second seconds. Five seconds. Wow. Giving it back to the uh, Comets right now. 111 left to go here in the second quarter. Mike and Rick with the new uh, overnight sensation. Right. We'll be on the hip parade for weeks to come. Mm, oh, nice this week. side move. We'll bring in some different side men, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's a she's a such a strong girl, McKenna. Oh yeah. She could just get that finger roll going. But she's only a sophomore. No, oh. so. no, she's a freshman. Well, oh, she's a freshman. Right. Oh my gosh. She's a freshman. This team is. This team has the potential to be scary. I know. If they can stay together, and the and the girls they got on the JV team, oh my gosh! Yeah. Genoa's loaded for like the next six years, but at least the next four. Great, great kids, and uh, just love their parents. The parents are letting the coaches do what they need to do, and so far everything's working real nice. A right, steal by. Uh, I, I don't, and they're going to have some growing pains this year. Sure. A lot of freshmen playing varsity. Um, but, you know, you've got, do you even have a senior on the squad? 
I don't think they do. They don't. Yeah. So, I mean, next year, you get these freshmen that have another year, have a year of varsity under their belts. You've got your two or three juniors that'll be seniors. Oh. And then when the seniors leave, and when that group leaves, you've got freshmen and, and sophomores on the JV team that can step right in. Three seconds. Yeah. yeah. That was coming. She pitched a tent there at the top of that lane. Keeping the pressure on. Nice pick. What happens then? That was an interception. <laughs> Trying to get that ball up to end the second oh. quarter here. 15 to 9 is our score. Rick, I, you know, uh, you know, both of these teams have been scrapping and scrapping really hard tonight, and uh, been real tough for them to to get the baskets. And Genoa's once again in that position where they're getting a ton of shots inside and little bunnies, and they just aren't able to make them. Yeah, it's just they're, both teams are having problems. They're getting getting the moves and getting them down low, but the, they're not converting. Uh, they've had uh, Northwoods had a couple of nice nice backdoor, but they just couldn't get the layups to go. Exactly. Well, in about nine minutes, we'll have another uh, another uh, half of uh, basketball for you here. It is Toledo Sports Network. It's Genoa Girls taking on the Northwood Rangers, and folks will be right back. Mommy Bay Turf Center, a leader in synthetic sports surfaces, as well as natural field construction, maintenance, and renovation. Mommy Bay Turf is part of Turf Nation, the most trusted source in the synthetic turf industry, including creating the surface for the biggest game in pro football. From professional, college, and high school sports to recreation and commercial projects, check them out at mommybayturfcenter.com and see our large collection of finished projects and services. Mommy Bay Turf Center. We build better. Different problems require different solutions. Seagate Roofing and Foundation Services has been solving water problems for over 30 years. We have the expertise to provide you with the best solution. Seagate replaces foundations, straightens walls, lifts sinking foundations, and waterproofs basements. Get your free estimate before you make a decision because you deserve to have all the facts. We are the local experts. 244 LEAK Seagate Blackberry Corner, on the corner of 579 and Elliston Road, is a proud sponsor of Genoa Football and has the best burgers, chicken, and pizza. Well, you know the pizza. Everyone knows the pizza. Blackberry Corner also has charbroiled pork ribs and Jim's famous chicken dinners. Whether it's appetizers, pizza, or a full dinner, the great folks at Blackberry Corner can help fill you up and save you money. Stop out to Blackberry Corners on the corner of State Route 579 and Elliston Road for a meal or just a snack. Genoa Jewelers, 611 Main Street in Genoa has been serving the area with quality jewelry and gifts for over 19 years. Specializing in gold and silver repairs, Frank Comeyes has been a goldsmith for over 30 years. Our selection of Pulsar watches, precious moments figurines, reflections beads, seraphim classics, and quality stellar rings, all at a price you can afford. Genoa Jewelers also buys gold and silver and has the perfect gift for that someone special. Stop out today at Genoa Jewelers, 611 Main Street in Genoa. Struggling with the big box stores? Choose Gladio. A hardware store, yet so much more. Your home improvement answer store. A place to design your interior space. A professional and friendly smiling face. Everything you need for your home. And Gladio is locally owned.
Fifteen nine uh, is our score right now. You know, on top of the uh, Northwood Rangers, and uh, you know they're they 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 could be scoring a lot more points. Uh, having some inside problems right now. Ball's just not falling for them the way it normally does. But uh, give props out to Northwood. They're scrappy and uh, they're doing a lot of the things that they uh, they need to do to make things happen. And uh, should be a good second half. It it really should. And uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, this beautiful new gym that uh, that uh, Northwood has here with their all of the new stuff they've put in the last few years. And we normally don't get a chance to come over here and do these games because we're kind of excluded from this area. But it's really nice uh, that Northwood allowed us to come in tonight. It's fun over here. I like this place. I, you know what? It's beautiful. I mean, it's very, very nice place. And uh, very excited for them and uh, all the years to come. And as they start rebuilding their program here and uh, getting some more girls to uh, come in and play the game that, you know, I love more than anything on this earth. I mean, I love it more than Kentucky Fried Chicken. So. Oh, my gosh. I know. Well, no, 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 no. Oh. It's not Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's Frobo's, Frobo's Fried Chicken. Frobo's Fried Chicken, yeah. See, I'm, I've got to get over there. Yeah, you got to go do it I because keep, it's incredible. I keep trying to guilt trip one of our... Uh, one of our faculty lives like right around the corner from from Ben's place, uh -huh. and I'm like, uh, can you just stop by the IGA on your way in to to work one day? And <laughs> so, it's just incredible. It's just really good. They've got good food down there, and uh, they help us out with our Eastwood games. I know uh, we've got Eastwood coming up this weekend. Uh, the boys do on Friday night. And uh, looking forward to that. That's and gonna be a good game too. Yeah, yeah. I think it is. That's maybe basically for Eastwood all of Marbles. Eastwood just took out Seago by what, 27, 30. No, Oak Harbor. Or Oak Harbor. That's right. I'm sorry. It took I took Oak Harbor by 27. Old teams. Yeah, yeah. It, which it, it's wow. wide open, dude. It's wide open. The, yeah. Uh, the boys. The boys. Is, every everybody that shouldn't be losing or it's you wouldn't think great. they would it's lose it's just been crazy yeah it's nuts so uh excitement abounds this week we got a lot of them and the girls will play uh thursday night at rossford uh, and tomorrow night the boys are playing fostoria at the impact zone and then friday they're at eastwood and saturday it's uh it's woodmore uh against uh gibsonburg that, the big perennials now gibsonburg's got Quite a good squad. Now, is Gibsonburg in the, in the Sandusky Bay? Or is that where did Woodmore go? Woodmore went to which conference? I, I don't know. It's like Sandusky Bay kind of. Are they, are they one of the Sandusky Bays? Is that where Gibsonburg is too? Uh, I think so. Have to look that up. I got to tell you, know. Emerson Bickle just got on the, the ground. Thank you, referees, for uh, being fashionably late. Oh, the, and Emerson Bickle just did the worm for us and did a very nice rendition of the worm. Because he was killing time because the referees were, yeah. as the announcer said, fashionably late. They were eating pizza in the back room. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Explosive decompression. I'm not, I'm not going to go down and do yeah. refereeing yeah. and camera. You don't want to go under although 100 Although I would probably feet. catch some of these travels if they have it. Oh, nice little... <laughs> Boy, I'll oh. tell you, what, you couldn't have written that any wow. better. Uh, 
a shock with that one, and uh, that was the Genoa Bank uh, Taylor Automotive family uh, three-point shot, and uh, all of a sudden we got a three-point three-point ball game. That was quick. Oh yeah, and that was just set up so good. Natalie Thompson gets it over to. Uh, there she is again, Trock again, and that's stolen. Bickle, and Bickle gets popped. Yeah, they will call a foul on four. That foul is going to be on Northwood number four. Good shot. Shock again. That's her second foul. First foul in this quarter. Slog her up at the top. Over to Williams and uh, Addy, moving it around nicely. That's her shot right there. Yeah, she's off tonight. Addy's just not, she's just not getting the ball anywhere near the hole, hole right now. And, you know, the same thing happened with uh, Walt Plants Friday night, and, you know, he wasn't feeling good. You know, and it happens. Especially when you get into a position where you're playing this many games in a row, you know. Right. Down low, there's a nice steal by uh, number 21, and that's Natalie Tom Thompson. And uh, Schlageter gets it right back. Addy again, a wide open Bickle. She don't miss those. There Good vision that. there from Addy. Here comes that. that trap again, and she went out of bounds. Oh, can't do that. Thompson tried to dribble it and keep it dribbled in bounds, and yeah, you, you just can't do that. <laughs> Don't even have to explain it to you, folks. Trust me on that one. Oh, good quickness knocking away. Thompson again. Thompson's all over the court. She's doing a real nice job up in the point guard, especially in the uh, in the uh, defensive area. Area. Hey, we got our big uh, Super Bowl show Saturday over at Pro Golf Fairways, a sports show that sucks in ESPN 100.7. Downtown. Downtown. Eight to ten, and uh, I'd love to have you come in. We're a nice inside move. And You're gonna have Bloody Marys this week. I don't know, maybe we should do something <laughs> special. That's going to be on, um, I think it's on Bolden. The ball is going to be on their friends in number 32, Leroy Walker. Oh, it's on Walker. Her first. Or Walford, I'm sorry. I am sorry. <laughs> she short armed that one. Could tell it from the minute she let it go. Well, a lot, you know, and another she problem. She did a little T-Rex. <laughs> another problem is, Rick, these Monday games and, you know, these girls are in these workout programs and they work on certain days and yeah. work out. And, uh, and these guys just one. played Saturday. Right. So they really only had yesterday to recover. Oh. <laughs> I think... Uh, Bickle used Walford to recover right there. Number second. That's their first foul this quarter. Bickle second for the game. 528 is the original number here. And I'm a little I'm a little early here, so. Oh. Did I just see that? <laughs> I was kind of looking down. Oh, Schlageter again with another steal. You might have seen it. The refs didn't. Nice look. Now nice. she got it. There we go. Ice, ice, baby, that time. Try that cross-court pass. Now they got through it that time. Nice. Oh, I like it. She had the numbers. And she had the uh, Euro step there, too. That's a Bobby McDonald Euro step right there. Is he teaching that? No, he was one of the originators. Ah. Yeah. Back then, we called it the east side step. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I get that. Euro, east side. Same same kind of culture sure. going there, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
She didn't need that dribble, see? Uh, tip, so we can. Ooh. Why are we making that pass inside like that? That's about the fifth time I've seen that. Don't need it. There's nothing there, and, and nothing good has come of it not, in all not five once. times. Not once. I'd much rather see that real super high pass that they throw all the way across court, you know. And yeah. they made some. They've made some bunnies off of that. Four thirteen left. Izzy back in and Combs back in. They're moving the ball like they're supposed to, but same thing. They clog the passing lane. That 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 lane is clogged. You just gotta just gotta realize that. Well, I mean, nobody's hitting from outside, so they can pack it in. Both teams. They're just right, right. Here, Thompson all the way. And I think that they know that nobody's hitting from outside, so they're forcing it inside now. Right, right. right. Instead of instead of keeping it working. Run around. your offense. Exactly. Run your offense. That's all you got to do. Run the offense. Eventually, someone will come open. Yep. As long as you can keep the ball on your side of the court, the other team's not scoring. You know, it might wind up being 14 13 final score of the game, but, you know, it, at least they're not scoring. Oh, Lucy Long gets her offensive own. rebound. Nice job. And smart, smart move, smart move. Move that ball around right now. Just uh, get some of the good luck back on your side of the court, you know? And, uh,. Oh, uh, I think that just follows on number four, Schrock, and she is, she got clocked in the face. Shock. She, uh, uh, that's not good. She turned around right into Izzy. Shot up. Wow. They're just not ice cold team. Yeah. Ice cold team. They did the same thing against Ottawa Hills. They were ice cold the whole game. I don't right, right. I think you just get it into your head how you're you just kind of lay low compliant. Schlager once again gets it in to Combs and uh, another miss, but Schlager with the rebound. rebound. Nothing there. So now it's hustling, getting the good offensive rebounds, and just looks like there's a lid on that basket. Well, thank goodness they're still playing wonderful defense and making it really tough for Northwood to even get in their sets. Oh. Uh, looks like that's on Schlageter. <laughs> what did now, he see? He's like, well, how, how do you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Lucy. Maybe by the time I finish Lucy, I'll know how to say it. Schlager. <laughs> Begins with an S. <laughs> Schlager. 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 <laughs> oh. They're going to get Izzy. I don't know if they're getting there. I just think it was out of bounds. Uh, well, maybe yep. not. Yeah. Here's the Izzy touched it when she was out of bounds. Yes. Still moving it. Oh, she walked. Yeah, they're halfway across Europe. Uh, 
They're trying to get it inside. They're holding on to it a little bit more in this in this uh, series. They're moving it around at least. Nice Thompson inside and got it. Well, I think that is the uh, first score we've had in a long, long time. Boyd misses. Thompson once again. And probably, uh, oh, nice shot. Three. Two. Two. Another steal. Oh. Izzy gets it. Oh. Right at the. Wow. She's going to shoot two. And you know what you did a half a uh, few minutes ago, Rick? Huh? You're going to do it again. OK. Explosive decompression. All right. Izzy West hits the first. This is the second, but going into the fourth quarter, 21-16 Genoa on top. And this is high school basketball on the Toledo Sports Network. Five games this week. We're going to be all over the place here tonight. We're in the uh, impact zone for the rescheduled boys game, Fostoria coming into Genoa. Should be a pretty good game tomorrow night. Thursday is uh, the Genoa ladies will travel to Rossford, take on the Bulldogs. Friday, the Genoa boys will travel out to uh, Pemberville, take on Eastwood, which is another one of those possible battles for the uh, Northern Buckeyes. Seems like there's three, four teams that are clogging up the top of that Northern Buckeye Conference. And then Saturday, a little twist for you. We're going to go out to Woodmore and carry the Gibsonburg Woodmore girls basketball game. And so busy week here for us on the Toledo Sports Network. And Super Bowl Sunday. So, you know, keeping us crazy, keeping us busy. Can't get into too much trouble if they keep us this busy, I guess. 21 16, start of number, quarter number four. Gibsonburg, or, I'm sorry, Northwood. We'll start with the ball. Genoa in that aggressive trap up top there. Not backing off on the defense at all. Outside. Off the side of the rim, no good. Oh, I think they're going to get Williams with, or no, that's uh, Bickle. Bickle's third of the game. Still no serious foul trouble for any of the players. Oh. Trap down low. Tried to do a cross court pass. Hit the line as she made the pass. She hits it. 
That's a Genoa bank. Taylor Automotive Family three point shot from Lucy. Getting Genoa out to a 24 16 point lead. Genoa taking a timeout. Um, probably about, I can't. They switched over to counting down the timeout on the clock, so I have no idea how much time is left. Probably about seven minutes, six, seven minutes. Northwood taking it out of bounds here. Four court passes to break this press. And there's the trap. And she stepped on the other side of the sideline, with the center court line. Over and back. It's a danger you get caught up in that corner there. That could happen very easily. Once you establish yourself on the one side of the half court line, you can't go back at all. <laughs> Northwood's picked up the intensive pressure a little bit here. Playing a little more man to man. Janelle's going to be happy just to work it around, keep looking for the good shot. 5.50 left in the game. Kenna, spin, gets that little shot up, gets it to fall. Kenna Mortz gives Janelle a 10 point lead. Northwood's going to reset their offense here. Three point for top of the key. Short. Good hustle to save it, but to Genoa. Genoa slowing it down again. They're going to be happy just to move it around, run their offense, look to, for the shot to get it inside. Northwood got a hand on it, knocked it out of bounds. Oh, the inbounds is stolen. Oh, they call Schlegger with the block. Thompson makes the first. Third foul for Lucy. Thompson up with the second here. Gets the fall. Cuts it down to an eight point lead. Genoa gets it down quick. Then spreads it out. Knocked away. Did you miss me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh. 
Something just isn't sitting right with JMO tonight. Northwood's playing a little more aggressive on D, and Genoa's trying to just move the ball, but they've had it taken away a couple of times now. This is one of them games, if you're Genoa, this one can get away from you. Yeah, that's, and they've slowed down. Genoa slowed it down, but they've had it taken away a couple of times now. Some lackadaisical inbound passes. There you go, yeah. You can't, you can't let up. Even if you're slowing it down, you can't let up. Now, this props out to uh, this Northwood team. And that's going to be on... Uh, Looks like that's on Carmel. Yeah, Keaton's Carmel. First, they don't have setups here, so we don't know how many fouls everybody has, so we apologize for that tonight. Scoreboard details, I'm assuming. Right. Or maybe it's because it's Monday. They don't work on Monday. And here are the refs. Look at that. Oh, we got a timeout. Doesn't look like the refs want to work on Monday. <laughs> oh! Oof. I could get fined for that. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. You'll ne you'll ne <laughs> you'll never play for the uh, for the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh my! So who's your pick for the big Super Bowl this weekend? Oh. Well, I'm going to ask you this like ten times this week. I really don't. I don't know. I'm a 49er. I said 49ers since before the season started, even though I'm a Dolphins fan. I just said I thought it's going to be 49ers, and they're giving Brock Purdy so much crap. I just love the fact that he's just flipping them off in his mind, you know? Yeah. And he's just – and then it, that Cam Newton comment. Oh, Cam just – he's just and shut it, up. You know, he just – you know, and then the great – you know, because if you didn't hear the comment, Cam Newton said that uh, he's – not, not even in the top 10 players on the 49ers, uh, Brock Purdy, that is. And then Brock Purdy said, well, you know what? You're probably right about that. But just for the record, there are 50 quarterbacks in the NFL, and you're not one of them. <laughs> what a great <laughs> comeback. Was. Just absolutely plastered him. And um, Of course, that was after Cam said he was one of a kind. He should be on the Hall of Fame because nobody was doing it like him. Right. I'm like, uh, Randall Cunningham, uh, Warren Moon, uh, Michael Vick. Yeah. <laughs> nice call of travel on that, and I just absolutely don't agree with that one, but. Uh, That's probably the first one they've called. Yeah. Three forty-one left in this one. 26-18 is her score. Carmel with it, and she's, she's got, got three on her. Well, they got it back, though. Shot with it, and uh, she throws it away. Yep. 327. The clock's not working right now, folks. I apologize. And I've learned the only way you can fix the clock is just to reboot the damn thing, so. Huh. Wow. wonder if I... Uh... <laughs> Unless Rick's running it. All the way to the hole. Lefty, oh, Schlageter, and she, she got gets too popped. far down. Yeah. Thompson's going to bring it back for the Rangers. Nice. Nice pass. Cuts it down to a six-point Comet lead. He said, they can get away from you. At this point, team basketball. Roll, roll some time off the clock. And There you go. And it gets that one to fall. Well, they, you know, neither team is really in foul trouble right now. Yeah. So you you have to, you you just got to take it right to the throat. Right to the throat every time. And keep playing the defense that you've been playing. Yeah, they're just short all the way. Don't even stop. Nice and easy. There you go. Well, their key so far has been their fast break. And another foul on Addy. I think it's on Addy. Yeah. That's her first. Wow. I didn't even think. Yeah, there's 
there's not. I mean, there's a couple players on Janelle with three. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody on Northwood with three. Oh, nice Williams steal from Williams. Nice pass nice out. Nice pass. Addy. Nice play. Addy will go to the line for the end one. 159. And Genoa or uh, Northwood wants to take a timeout. Well, what you have to do right now, if you're if you're uh, if you're Northwood, is it you have to penetrate every time and at least try and get the foul. Yeah. You know, you have to try and get the foul. By the way, I got the clock back without having to reboot. Just so you know. Good for you. Because I'm Mike Jameson. You are. <laughs> That's why I'm up here. Mike Jamison with explosive decompression. Captain, we've got massive problems with our engines tonight. Well, tomorrow we'll just hand it off to Ronnie. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he shows. Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie doesn't need me. Ron Gladio is going to be doing the game with us, the uh, Fostoria Genoa game. And Ron, one of my dearest friends on this earth and knows basketball better. He's got more basketball knowledge in his little pinky than I have in in a in my whole body. Did he play college ball? No, he didn't. No, oh. no, no. He when he he played it he played it clay, and uh, and it just he's had back issues all his life. Oh, okay. And he coached he and I coached together over St. Thomas a long time ago, and uh, he's a good guy, great guy, one of our sponsors with Gladio Do It Best and uh, helps us out. I'm gonna go over and shoot some video with him this week for our Let's Fix Her Up show. Yeah, hey, and you talk to him, see if he does uh, snowblower repair. Oh yeah, they definitely do. Why, well, like yeah. you need it, but. Yeah, well, the one time I tried to use it this season and it wouldn't start, oh. of course. It's Cause it probably had that, you probably it's, put regular gas in it. It's got bad, uh, probably mean it's the same gas I've been using for three seasons. Well, I, it just, it, but, eats, it eats those carbs up. You gotta buy that six dollar a gallon gas. I mean, I put Stabil in every can of gas I buy for the mower and for the blower. So, uh, I think I'll just go electric. Or fourth. No, that uh, that uh, ethanol in the uh, ethanol in the uh, regular gas that we buy just eats those carburetors live. I bought a brand new uh, snowblower from from Gladio five, six years ago. Didn't use it for a year because it was a year like this year's been and uh, ate the carburetor up. I had to have a whole new carburetor put on it, you know, and uh, but now it runs beautiful, but I don't put anything but the $5, $6 a gallon gas in it. The rocket you think, fuel. Yeah, you get it over what? Uh, 10 seconds. Oh, that hurts. Good D from the Comets. Yeah, we'll have this one up on YouTube for you. I'll probably have it up there for you tonight. They're going to move it around now. Take a little time off that clock before anything happens here. It's like the coach is doing the old uh, Sandlot football game. Oh, you go here. You go here. What about me, coach? You go long. Oh. Oh. Oh, what are you going to call on that? That should be a jump ball. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it is a jump ball. I don't know if it's jump ball. We'll see if the possession arrow changes here. Offer back in. Watson in. Yeah, Urbane. They didn't call a jump ball. No, she's kind of just picked her pocket. Thirty-six twenty. Pretty much going to wrap this one up. 
And once again tomorrow, Fostoria, Genoa, boys basketball, makeup game. Looking Might forward to it. Yeah, it, doesn't, it wasn't on the schedule. or I mean, it was obvious on the schedule, but uh, Bowden with the shot, and she misses. Wasn't one we were anticipating on Saturday. No. <laughs> hey, we have Tuesday off. What are we going to do? And then I show up tonight. Yeah, we got a game on. Oh, oh okay. The next two weeks, don't plan anything. <laughs> you know, it's like. <laughs> Wait till you see my calendar. Yeah, yours is worse than mine. Uh, but mine gets worse as the season goes, goes on. Yeah. Williams, mm, nice shot. I think once we get into tournaments, I should be all right. If we can do any tournament play. Yeah, well, it's all going to depend on sponsors if we're going to have sponsors for it. Got a bow, beautiful shot. 38-20 is our score, and uh, I think that's going to do it. Going to do it tonight, Ricky. I very, uh, how do I, how I say I, I, this? I, it's, it was scrappy tonight. It was scrappy. Yeah. Uh, the refs were definitely let them, letting them play. A little bit. A little um, bit. And both teams were just horrible from the outside. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Could um, not make anything no. happen tonight. Uh, I think, I think Genoa's tired. They played Saturday. Turn around playing today. They get a few days off now. So they got uh, Rossford. Yeah, then they go to, to Rossford, Rossford on Thursday. So they got a few days rest, regroup, do some uh, light practicing and some talking, and hopefully they'll come out fresh on uh, Thursday. As we head down to Joe Stahl Court, Joe Stalma Court, and uh, Tony Ledesma's Rossford Bulldogs. There you go. Well, folks, we appreciate you being here, Rick. Nice job as always. And, uh, folks, we're going to wrap this one up tonight. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful Monday evening. Enjoy it. It's a little early, so you can relax. You can talk to the bat, watch The Bachelor or Bachelorette or something. I don't know. There's something on. And I'm sure there's basketball somewhere to watch. So. Somewhere. Somewhere. Folks, thanks once again for watching. And uh, we will see you next time right here on the Toledo Sports Network. God bless.